Hi everyone and welcome to another haul video. Today I have two different hauls or from two different orders and we're going to start off with the tonic order. This has been the shortest to come here. I think I only have waited for like a couple of weeks, like one or two weeks. Anyhow, this came from the UK so that's why it has a little bit of a shorter time frame. I picked up six of these Nouveau uh, tape runners. I didn't think they had refills, however, when I was looking at these, looks like you actually can press these down and pull this out. So maybe they do have refills, I don't know. I bought six of them because I, I go through tape runners like crazy. I do, however, really like this glue stick, so maybe I will be using glue sticks in the future. Um, I don't know, but tape runners is something that I go through a lot, and I have almost run out of my favorite, which they don't produce anymore. So I'm gonna try these, and then I can tell you what I think about it. The next thing, two things are actually repurchases. So I love uh, specifically the glitter drops in white blizzard. It's my absolute favorite to use on basically anything. I usually lay them on top of die cuts to make them uh, have that little dome shape and be glittered. So I really like that, especially little hearts. But I also use them on, on letters, just glitter on things. I do have another one of these that isn't end haven't haven't ended but i had this for years multiple years and it's almost dried out and last time like it doesn't run the way they used to i've heard that you can maybe get them to live again however i rather have a new one to get the proper consistency and that they dry the way they should the other repurchase is the Nuvo Glimmer Paste. I've been doing a lot with it lately and I want to do a lot more with it. So uh, I picked up a second bottle. This is my first bottle. Um, they're very similar. They have a little bit of a different color on top, but very similar. Uh, this is about halfway done, but I, I really like I really like it. Oh yeah, I think this has yellowed a little bit over time. So this is a little bit wider. These things do that, that's just how it is. The last two things, this is the uh, Craft Perfect double-sided red line tape. Red line tape is heat resistant, or it can handle heat. It's not heat res... You, it, it is resistant. It was it says. Um, uh, so you can actually use the tape and add it as strips on your card, and then you can pour embossing powder on top of that and uh, heat emboss that without the tape getting funky. So that is uh, one of the reasons why I really wanted to try this. I wouldn't use this tape to put things together. I'd rather use my sock one tape for that, but just for kind of those effects or when I'm gonna put something down that needs heat. And the last thing I picked up is this stamp cleaner. So I have, there's Nuvo stamp cleaning pad. I love it, especially for like when I stamp with my little stamp blocks, you just uh, have it on the block and you just uh, can do this with your stamp. Uh, on one you have uh, a liquid and one is just dry. So you uh, take it on the sprayed one and then you spray it off. And my the one I have used is this Brutus Monroe Squeaky Clean, but it's almost out. So now I'm gonna try this one because I could get it faster. So yeah, those were all the things from Tonic. Let's jump into scrapbook.com. So here is my second package of the day. This one has been in transit since the 1st of January, which is just crazy. And it's been in Sweden for four weeks. The postal service here just they uh, scanned it in wrong, uh, they didn't send me the papers, they didn't send me anything, they sent me just to wait. It was a lot of those things. Well, it was their fault all the time. I went a little bit mad at them. But I finally have the package here, so let's get through it. So first off, I bought some glue dots. It's just a, kind of a refill. I rather use the, the glue dots this way. So they come in like these, this little roll. And then you have all the glue dots on the inside. So much easier to handle. So that's my favorite way. I have like this little roller also. Not as fun. This is much better. I picked up this, sadly, because it's so late. Uh, this was supposed for Valentine's. And 
when you see this, uh, it's like a week or a week and a half since Valentine. It's actually the day after Valentine when I record this. I have a little bit of a, of a video and start stacking up here. But anyhow, um, it is the uh, Lawn Fawn uh, stamp set called Scent with Love with this cute little stinky things. My brain isn't working today. I have a massive migraine, but yeah. <laughs> you, you know what they are. I know what they are. Skunks, that's the word, skunks. <laughs> But anyhow, they're very cute. I think I can use them in other other ones. Like this card is sent with love. You can send that to anyone. So you make me feel sentimental to an old friend. So you can still use them. So the, yeah, I like them. Then we can go through this little pile. This is just me stacking up on the um, the the colors that I hadn't bought from this S. Uh, both Distress Ink and Distress Oxides uh, when I was away. So I have Salvage Patina in the Oxide. I have this spec Speckled Egg in the Oxide. I do have the ink already. Um, the Prized Ribbon in both Oxide and Ink. The ink for Salvage Patina. And then Gathered Twigs. Somehow I haven't just had it in my stash. So I have it for Distress uh, oxides, but I haven't had it in ink for a very long time. So I picked one of those up. So now I should have all of them. I think so. I, I have to look at that. Uh, then we have this little contraption. You probably have looked at it and like, what is that? This is a power punch by Crocodile, and this specific one do these little disc holes. I don't know if you can see that. You should should be able to see that little one. It's one of those disc holes. So it works with the like Happy Planner discs. Um, I bought a whole stack of the plastic ones, a little bit thinner or a little bit smaller. And I, what I'm gonna use this for is albums. Like you can use them for your uh, creative albums and all of that. I have like this big one from Happy Planner, metallic one. However, it's very hard to line up so that you get the even amount on both sides. And also, if you just want a little piece um, of it, uh, there's a model that I've seen multiple people do now, where you have like three discs disc in the middle, and then you have like a regular book end on the sides, which is really, really nice. You can only do it with one of these. So I picked that one up, and that was the whole reason why I I bought all of these things or why I started shopping. So that is that one and then I, as I said, I picked up these mini discs so that I have some disc to play around with. I have a couple packages more, um, but I wanted some more so I thought um, a pack like this would work great. And I also picked up some gold mink foil. Uh, if you didn't know, I do make and sell little notebooks. I'm hoping to come out with some new different outsides of them or like covers for them. So it's basically a white paper or lined paper in them. Uh, I make them by hand and then I usually have foil on the outside of the book. And I do have a little bit of golden left from deco foil, uh, but I, I've had a hard time getting the mink gold. So I picked up one of those. And then we have these, and I'm gonna go through all of them. So we're gonna start with this. Let me open it. So the first one is a 12 by 12 paper pack, which is called Fairy Garden. I don't know if I have the six by six pa paper pack uh, paper for this one. I don't think so. Uh, let's start. So these uh, pattern paper packs have one this and that sticky sheet, and then it has all of the pattern paper. And if I'm not mistaken, all of these pattern papers you will find in a smaller version in the 6x6 uh, paper pack. So if you see one of the designs here that you really like but would have wanted in a smaller uh, smaller form that would be where it is and that is how I see it when I bought this pile of it is that these are things that I have been wanting to have little bigger things in like 
not only can you use the paper as it is, but you can also cut these little things out. So the first one is little cute fairies and trees and some cute sands on one side. Um, then you have the rainbow with the clouds, which are beautiful. And you have the little hearts. And you can see at the bottom, you can see which two designs that the pattern paper have. We have played, I love played, and this one, which is these beautiful, these are so much bigger than the six by six, kind of obvious because it's the double the size, but um, these could work really, really great in like uh, notebooks or, or things like that. We have the little cute, um, super sweet bugs. These are the same bugs that are in the new Love, uh, love Notes pattern paper that I used um, from the, in the Simon Says Stamp kit. So it's basically, it's very similar, but still different. And it's the same colors. So you can really use them, like mix and match the different papers. You have some mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Or I don't like eating them, but I love the aesthetic of them. Uh, you have some flowers. You have Hello Beautiful. These can work really good as sentiments on your cards. There's so many things. This is why I bought them. I have so many ideas. You have that little thing. And then you have these little cards. I, I like the cards when they're in a little bit, bit bigger. These can be really good in like um, those, um, what's called journals that you do, like daily journals and you have little cards. These can be used for that. And these were super cute. They almost look like aliens. Um, this, um, I do have that in one of my other package. So maybe I have the fairy garden. I don't think so, but they're very similar at least. Oh, uh, spring, something spring, I think is the one that is a similar, but you have all of these beautiful, beautiful papers um, with this super cute uh, butterflies. And then you have this, and this is a like a sticker, like a thicker sticker sheet. So if you put them up, it's like, cardstock and you get a whole bunch of these and again you have a bunch of these that you can use as sentiments so that is the first 12 by 12 then we have the second one which is the made with love this six by six paper i do have and i have done a whole bunch of projects i used this pattern paper on a project very recently i think it was the um yeah, I'm not sure, but I have used it. Um, <laughs> anyhow, um, again, it is the bigger version of what is in the 6x6 pattern paper pack. Love this red hearts. One of my favorite. That I have actually a pretty old project that I've done with, used for. Is that the word? Um, mixers, you have some beautiful dots. Again, those long cards, uh, recipe cards. Um, this is also one of my favorite pattern paper. This one has these tags instead, um, which I also like. And you have the same kind of tag on the back side. So you can just cut them out, remove the little triangle and uh, use a hole punch for the hole if you like to do that. Uh, you can also just cut out the images, which I did on another project also. Um, yeah. The cookies, uh, little other kind of cookies. I don't know, Choc chocolate chippers. I think they're called, it, it was called. Um, flowers, some lovely borders, that yellow paper. Oh, it is the, I think it, it, it is uh, the exploding card that I used them for. They have very similar paper, even though I love, love all of them. Um, I could, I could just do fun projects with these kind of papers all day long. So the last part is the sticker sheet. And as you see, they kind of go through the same kind of structure. So if you kind of look at these two, you have a little circle up here, you have, they have the same kind of features. They just are uh, packaged um, for another uh, kind of design. 
but the same features. Then we have a 12 by 12 cute and crafty, another plaid but a little bit of bigger. You have much smaller card so you get the um, like 5 by 5 25 of them on one sheet. You have splatters beautiful green greens. I do not have this this 6x6 six six though um, but I do like it so maybe I should pick that up. Some more plaid and flowers, more of these cool cards, um, another one of these where you can cut them out if you want to. Um, that was a beautiful one, very simple, very clean. Uh, this looks like washi tapes together some more polka dots, some more plaid, buttons. Again, you can use these either just as the strips as they are or as sentiments. Um, there's so many things you can do. You have more of those uh, big like note-taking pieces. This is more like a scrapbooking uh, package, but I really, really like it. And maybe I, I get into scrapbooking, I don't know. I'm experimenting here. And to finish that off I do have one of those sticker sheets here. Again as you see they have the same kind of borders at the bottom, it's just in the color scheme of the pattern papers. This is the last of the uh, 12 by 12 pattern paper pack which came in the time for Easter so I'm really happy about that. Let's put this at the bottom. So loads of bunnies, really cute. Um, some more plaid. Plaid is, is, is the thing right now, or was at least last year. Everything was plaid. More of these cute little cards. Like you can just use one of these cards. Put it on a simple white background and you have your, your card. Super simple. Or you can use these in, in some kind of journaling. Um, you can use it for a lot. Uh, carrots some grass. Oh, there's so many projects that I can do. Little eggs, uh, stripes, more bunnies. Like these borders are beautiful. More, I don't know, that's not probably not played, but something similar. Uh, little, little birdies, dots, some more. Oh, I love these. Tone on tone paper. My absolute favorite ones are the tone on tone paper. Uh, and I think this is actually the same design as it is here. It's just, um, just the outlines. So, but very much rainbows and bunnies in this kit. And then you have all the Happy Easter. Like you can do so many cards with one of these sheets. Uh, and to finish that off we have the little sticker sheet and again as I said this is more like a thicker cardstock sticker sheet so you have a little bit more hardness to it so you can actually use them have foam under them and put, kind of push them up without worrying about them so yeah nice I also picked up another pattern paper pack, this time with Cute and Crafty Petite Print assortment. So you have seen mine where I, uh, my pattern paper packs were just colors, and that is basically how this works. This is, however, then also designed to work with a Cute and Crafty uh, kit. So it has the same like blue tone, they also have a, a green version, but it's, it, it seems like they have different different patterns on them also. So this uh, this is actually a pack I do have. This is the flowers and grid, and on the six by six uh, paper does have that too. Um, and then you have dots. This wood grain is beautiful, and you have the oranges to match and you have the reds to match. So this could be a really good base, for example, for a box, and then you use the details from the pattern paper packs to make tags or maybe cut out pieces to, to build up something on the box. So yeah, that is the 12 by 12 Cute and Crafty. The last thing is more of an experiment. I wanted to go through the, like they have like these different essential packs. They have multiple essential packs, just as a note. And this is the Cute and Crafty collection um, 
of uh, for for these packs. So let's let's go through that. Uh, what you do get is some more of the cute and crafty cardstock. So in this case, I have now double of these these specific papers. Um, so that is that was the, the first thing in the package is is some of the cards. So this isn't all of the cute and crafty cardstock. Um, it's two, three, four, five, six. So it's six sheets out of twelve different designs. Then we have here, they have these icon stickers and then they have these little letter stickers. Um, beetle black is the color for these and this is all of the like cute and crafty stickers. You also in this kit get these little cute cupcake blossoms, a little bit of striped gross game tropical ribbon and a set of gems. So that is what uh, you get in one of those essential kits. I'm hoping to pick up these kind of kits um, somewhat regular as they get new releases and I can show, show them to you. Uh, one of the things um, this is just uh, odds and ends. This was kind of fun. This is a sticker of their odds and ends package. Um, and if you saw the video on Friday where I unpacked the Simon Says Stamp card kit, uh, then that had these um, kind of odds and ends, a package of the odds and ends. But yeah, so this was all that was in this little package and that was all that was in my order. As you saw it was a lot of dude work designs and things to make albums and journals with. Uh, hopefully I will kind of grab them and do fun stuff coming up this spring. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please thumbs it up. It means a lot to me. If you have any questions, just comment down below. And down below you find all of these products lists so that um, you can find them if there is something you want to pick up. The links in the description down below are mo most often affiliate links and if you purchase through them I get a little kickback uh, to no cost of yours and that helps me be able to buy more of these kind of things and maybe one day if, if the worlds allow it to become a crafter full time. You never know, you never know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye!